Hey everyone, it's Cool Kid here, and I'm doing something that I haven't done in a while. Burn the Witch Chapter Review, Chapter 4. So, this is my Halloween video for this year. Uh, I got Halloween Mimikyu here for Halloween, obviously. Uh, this shirt, actually, yeah, this is the exact same shirt I wore for last year's, uh, Halloween video, so, yeah, my, uh, Sim Massacre's Monster Madness shirt. You know, one of these days I hope to do something like Monster Madness, where it's like a month-long event, I upload, like, videos every day. Unfortunately, I don't have enough foresight or planning to do that kind of stuff. I, I kind of suck at that kind of stuff, so... Yeah, anything else I should say? Oh yeah, recently I picked up the uh, Burn the Witch manga, and actually, uh, th this was kind of the reason why I'm doing, you know, this as my Halloween video. So, I recently picked it up. It actually just came out pretty recently. I thought, you know, Burn the Witch fits the Halloween spirit, so let me finish up with these uh, chapter reviews. So, uh, yeah, that's, that's the story there, but... Uh, to, to, to look at the manga itself, it's actually pretty, pretty cool. One, I like the nice little uh, slipcover you got with the, you know, whole uh, flannel slipcover design. And then, um, let me just put this thing right here. And then you open it up, you got this, uh, you know, full colored, uh, you know, uh, cover right here, which looks pretty nice. And actually, a thing that actually surprised me about the physical release of the manga was it included the one shot because I, I was kind of unsure if they were going to include the one shot because even though the one shot is canon to the current manga you, you just gotta realize that's not you know the one shot in the pilot chapters aren't usually something that you know is usually canon to a manga so that's a little different and two they really never uh, touched about you know the you know the one shot in any kind of way in the uh, anime or the OVA or whatever, so I was kind of unsure if it was going to appear in here, but you know, the one shot does show up in here, so uh, I, I guess if you do plan to pick this up, I guess you'll know more about it than um, whatever the, you know, anime watchers know. At least you know what the one shot is. Um, actually, you know something else that's pretty cool? Uh, I don't know if you guys haven't seen it recently, but the a uh, freaking collector's edition for the Burn the Witch manga in Germany. Oh my god, it looks so cool. They freaking got it. It, it look, kind of reminds me of like the uh, Berserk Deluxe uh, hardcovers. My god, I, I, I love that. It, it sucks it's only in German. The, you know, German version has that. But uh, hey, maybe elsewhere we'll have that. Maybe? Yeah. But, uh, yeah, that's what that... Actually, you know what? I, I should say this for, you know, anyone who looked at the last, uh, you know, Burn the, my Burn the Witch chapter review, and you might look at it. Some things are different. One, uh, I got a uh, nice wall scroll back here that's Burn the Witch theme. So I want to use my uh, bleach poster as a, you know, stand-in. And also, I got this... Uh, Nice little ca uh, flannel cape they got here, or, or is it, you know, cloak? It, it doesn't matter. E either way, it literally is just my blanket just, you know, wrapped over me to, you know, emanate the whole flannel slash cape or coat design. I, I don't know which, whichever it is, you know. So, hey, at least I'm kind of in costume. That's, that's kind of the Halloween spirit. Right? Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so let's let's get into the chapter review now. I talked about it this long enough. So, uh, yeah, of course, how I always start my chapter reviews, I look at the cover page. And uh, the cover page for chapter four is basically we got all the leaders or the top of the horns, uh, you know, all shown off here of Weenbine, which, you know, they, they, they look pretty cool. And... You know, like, okay, okay, I, I, I will admit, this is not, out of all the, I guess, cover pages that we've gotten, they're not my favorite. Uh, this is absolutely not my favorite out of all of them. Uh, I probably, if I rank them, it's probably Chapter 2's or Chapter 3's cover page, but, you know, still, this is a pretty cool cover page, and plus, you know, 
personally, I love looking at Kubo's uh, artwork right here. Kubo, I just love Kubo's artwork, and uh, you know, and also it's it's a full color paint spread, which uh, you know I can't say the same thing for One Piece. But to be fair, Burn the Witch is you know it's not coming up in the you know show and jump like almost every week. So yeah, which uh, you know the more I think about it with you know Burn the Witch doing its you know seasonal thing. I think that's probably better for Kubo instead of being, you know, kind of almost overworked like Oda, which, you know, even though I sometimes complain like, uh, we're getting a week break, and then I'm like, wait a minute, you know, Oda's got to have his break sometimes, so, you know, yeah, yeah, I'm at least thankful for that, but, uh, yeah, cool cover page, love Kubo's art, uh, you know, everything, and actually... Uh, let's just say some of these other guys that, you know, it's given Bruno, because obviously from the last chapter, but we do see some of the other heads throughout this chapter, so, uh, yeah, let's get into the chapter itself. So, uh, this chapter, uh, picks right back off from last chapter, where Bruno was like, oh yeah, Balgo, now you're officially a, a wine dragon now, so, you know, everyone else around here is going to be coming after you and he's like wait what are you, are you talking about me and the chapter picks up right after this he's like wait you're, you're after me why I, I i really don't get what you're talking about and bruno's like oh you haven't told him anything well i guess given the smallest mercy that you could give to a walking dead man is not exactly telling him when he's going to bite the dust and uh, Bog was like, whoa, that's some scary words for a scary looking face. And then uh, we go in Ninny, I mean, not Ninny, uh, we go to uh, Noel, who's like, uh, Ninny, let's split up. I'll shoot a spark off on the counter. And she's like, okay. Or would you rather take uh, Boggle or Macy? She's like, you seriously got to ask? And Bruno's like, I haven't got a clue what are you two talking about, but that guy's got a target on his back everywhere in reverse London. Where are you planning to go? And then, uh, we have Macy, who starts to hear this voice. She's like, I, I hear Ellie's voice. It's getting closer, and then suddenly, uh, Ellie, uh, suddenly appears right behind Bruno, and he's like, well, uh, sorry, man, I, I don't got any more use for you anymore, but then suddenly Ellie just, you know, kind of, uh, disappears, and everyone's shocked by it, uh, including Noelle and Nini, and they're like, it, it disappeared, what's that, uh, stealth scale? And uh, Nini's like, well, actually, when the first time I saw it, it came out of the shadows, but that's what I thought. But in actuality, it's been using stealth skills to erase itself. And freaking Bruno's like, oh, man, you, you gotta be kidding me. You use stealth skill? No ordinary dragon can just use that. And, and then uh, Ellie appears again to uh, swipe at uh, Bruno's dragon, and then suddenly we see Ellie under the moonlight transformed. Yeah, yeah, transformed under the moonlight in its majestic form, which, uh, yeah, 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 it, it does look pretty cool. Then Ninny reacts to this like, uh, what the heck is that? It, it completely changed the shape and size, and Noelle's like, well, it likely molted in the moonlight. And then and it's like, wait, what the heck's up with that? It's almost like, and then Noel's like, no, it's not almost is. And then we go with Bruno, who's like, stout scale, molting in the moonlight in those six talons, no doubt about it. It's one of those monarchs. And, you know, I, I know for a fact uh, I'm not saying it right, but I, I, I just like the sound. But, yeah, one of the monarchs. And we get another close look at uh, the majestic, um, 
you know, I, I, I'll tell, I'll, I'll say the name when we, when it gets revealed, and you know, we go back to Nini, who's like, wait, what's a monarch? And uh, Noel explains that they are rumored to have existed before the formation of Reverse London. Seven dragons to be likely to, and named from fairy tale. No, four fairy tales. We got Snow White. Red Dress, Golden Axe, Bubbles, Sugar House, Band of Animals, and the last and final one that's said to molt in the uh, molt fully fledged dragon in the moonlight. Cinderella. So uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We got we got mythical dragons that you know we might be seeing in the future. Seven of them. Uh, actually, yeah, you install now. I don't even know like what specific fairy tale that band of animals is supposed to be. So yeah, but uh, but I'll I'll talk about all that kind of stuff. Uh, you know, towards the you know end of the review. But uh, yeah, we we go continuing on with what Noel is saying, uh, saying that uh, the origin of the name comes from its distinct biology, only maturing nocturnally, as well as the star ash dust that scatters when it's agitated. Anything in contact that the light gets contact with is engulfed in light. And, uh, yeah, that engulfed in life is basically giant-ass explosions. Oh, my, oh my God. I, 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 I love this. It's like, oh, yeah, everything will be engulfed in light. Which is by just boom, explosions everywhere. Which, um, I mean, technically that is being engulfed in life by technicality. But, uh, yeah, the freaking explosions happen everywhere. <laughs> and then he's like, wait, what the heck? Why, why is it doing like that? It, it's just bombs. And Noel's like, well, that, that's what it said in my uh, reference books. And Bruno's like, uh, Bulga Parks, I am taking a rain strike on your uh, elimination, holding that off for right now. Monarchs are the progenitors of dark dragons. They're the designably wicked dragons, permanent authorization for elimination humanities. Hypothetical enemy, I never thought I would be able to see it with my own eyes. And then, he puts on this uh, cool skull bandana mask on. He's like, well, that's electrifying. And, and then he's like, wait a minute. You, you aren't telling me you're going to fight against that thing. And uh, he's like, well, I ain't fighting it. I'm killing it. Oh, God, this, this is so cool. And he's like, well, I couldn't ask a better opponent. I gained some recognition. So you better not get in my way, you little snots to think you can just manage three Bacton Ricker. Oh no no I mean Richten Backer. Oh my god his his freaking dragon his name oh god his dragon's so cool freaking Bruno's so cool but yeah it gets on his dragon and head towards uh Cinderella and well that's happening. We got uh you know, Nini and Noel also planning to go in and fight uh, uh, Cinderella. And Nini tells Noel, uh, let's go for a frontal attack and we'll request for enforcements from HQ. And Noel's like, nah, I, I prefer not. And she's like, wait a minute, what were you talking about with this nonsense? And she explains that. Uh, you know, it's not that this has nullified Bago's punctive dragon designation. If we uh, call for reinforcements, uh, they'll surely, you know, take the chance to uh, kill Bago. And she's like, uh, yeah, yeah, I, I guess they, they could. Uh, even HQ couldn't do anything in an emergency. And then Cinderella Star Ash falls near them. Which causes an explosion, but uh, both of them are able to escape from it on their uh, buggy brooms. Yeah, yeah, I'm pretty sure it's 
12 buggy brooms, so yeah, they're both able to escape from the explosion, and they're also able to grab both Balgo and uh, Macy with them. And, and then uh, we go with uh, Bruno, which, uh, okay, I, I do like what it is here with, uh, I, I guess, this implementation of magic. So uh, what he does is he lifts up his, uh, I, I guess, jacket up to reveal uh, a couple of spray cans on like a utility belt or something. So he takes one out and on one of Richtenbachter's wings, he, he draws this, uh, I guess, circular symbol and we got uh, release code 057, unlock, hunger, shadow. And like this shadowy creature uh, comes out of the spray painted uh, circle symbol and goes to attack Cinderella. But uh, um, unfortunately, Hunger Shadow is just nothing to Cinderella. It just, you know, does one explosion and freaking Shadow Hunger, or is it Hunger Shadow? E either way, that Shadow creature is just basically almost instantly dead from it. And he's like, not, not even Shadow Hunger can even drop a tiny bit of blood from it. And then uh, Nini and Noel are able to catch up to Bruno. And he's like, yo, finally you twerps to catch up. Where did you leave those two anyway? And they 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 explain, it's like, anywhere that's safe, anywhere that's uh, other than here is basically safer for them. And he's like, well, you ain't wrong about that. So uh, cover me then. And he explains that... Uh, if we break the horn of the crown on uh, its head, Cinderella is a goner. And Noel's like, well, aren't you sure that's just simply a legend? And he's like, look, we're, we're finding a fairy tale right here. What else are we even supposed to be relying on at this point? And he's like, well, if you provide backup to help me be in that thing, I'll pump up your vow. Heck, I might even trance you two inks and both of them are like nah we're not, we're not really interested and he's like oh well if both of you are just getting really on my nerves and then they go on for the offense of uh on on cinderella with uh both ninny and noel both casting spells with ninny being like up in the air the starry paths night horizon what a formation and then we got uh, Nini, I mean, <laughs> Noelle doing uh, Wings, Weather, Light, Right to Skyward, Sight There Shall Be Terminated, Spell Number 68, Supernatural Jail. And these uh, pillars of light uh, showered down onto uh, Cinderella, temporarily locking in place. And then we go to Bruno. So while, I, I guess, while both of them were casting the spell, Bruno was doing another one of his, I guess, spray-painted uh, spells. But it's in the sky, so, I mean, I mean that's cool. I mean, he's a, a witch. I mean, a wizard. Yeah, yeah. A wizard, so I guess he can do that. And he's like, release code 208. Unlock, get over here. Greedy curded and uh, how the symbol comes. I, I, I guess like the best way to explain it, it, it It's like um, you, you know, you've you've seen like uh, graffiti art. It, it's like almost like a you know a wave of like a gr graffiti art just comes out and it comes down to a uh, cover all over Cinderella and he's like well we won't know if it'll kill you, but as soon as you stick your head out, your time is done, Cinderella. And uh, Cinderella just casts this giant-ass explosion, and it completely destroys Greedy Current, and he's like, oh, God damn it, that thing's still alive. So even your own blast can't kill you, monster. Which, okay, I mean, I mean that was a pretty smart plan of him to do with... Greedy curtain, which I basically presume it's like an attack that that's supposed to trap the opponent and like uh, you, you know use its own attack against it. But you know even Cinderella's 
uh, massive blast, you know, can't even do anything to it. And then we go uh, Nina and Noel, which uh, for some reason Balgo and Macy somehow catch up with them for some reason. They're like, oh, hey, you okay? And Noel, she's like, yeah, I'm doing freaking dandy. And then suddenly, uh, freaking Cinderella just, bam, just r starts rushing, heading straight towards uh, Nini, Noel, Balgo, and Macy. And they're like, oh, oh my god, that, that thing's heading our way. Everyone, put up your, uh, put your shields up right now. And then uh, Macy's like, wait a minute, but, but Ellie could be coming to see me. Th there has to be some way of, uh, you, you know, instead of this, killing it. And, you know, uh, Nini's like, oh, come on. Are you seriously still going on about this? And then a uh, massive explosion happens and hits both Nini and Noelle, knocking up both of them down. And then Macy comes in and it's like, Ellie, Ellie, stop it. Don't you recognize me? And then, you know, for, uh, for a small moment, you think, Maybe, maybe does uh, Cinderella or Ellie does recognize Macy, but uh, nope, it, it, it does another one of its explosions, but uh, Nini and Noelle get back up to uh, block the explosion, and uh, we got Nini being like, I, I told you, I told you already, it ain't going to work, no matter how much you love them. You just can't reach out to someone you can't get through. How long are you going to keep insisting that dragon gives you strength? Or if it was to take you up to some magical special place, can you stop talking like this is a fairy tale? Aren't fairy tales just full of it? What's so great if the magic fades in the middle of a thing? You broke a promise. Well, time's out. You're out of luck. What's with that? That just sounds... Stupid. You and everyone else have no idea why the spell runs off. But the reason it fades partly through is because the power was never yours. Macy, we're the ones who cast the magic, aren't we? So, yeah, yeah, I, I, okay, okay, okay. I, I couldn't stop with, uh, you know, that speech. That, that is a pretty, a pretty cool speech. I guess kind of speech where she's like, look, I, I, I'd rather not, I, I'd rather be the one casting the spell instead of the spell being given to me. And, you know, and she even talks like, you know, what, what do you expect? You really think you're going to go to take you somewhere magical, make you feel special, take you to Hogwarts or something? Uh, actually, uh, you know, since I mentioned that, that that's actually kind of funny, because, uh... Wait, let me get this. So, actually, I do own all seven Harry Potter films. Wait. Uh, no, no, no. All eight Harry Potter films. But, unfortunately, I, I, I never saw, you know, any of them. It, it's just so weird. Never saw them, but I own them. Just want to mention that. Well, technically, I did see the first Fantastic... Beast film, but I, I don't think that counts. Just thought that was something to mention. Just wanted to do that, but uh, back where, what was I saying? Oh yeah, you know, May Macy expected to be, wished to be, you know, go to some magical world, or be she's special or something. No, this this isn't like a fairy tale. There, there are very dangerous creatures, dragons are, you know, rather, you know, we want to be the ones, in, you know, taking the spell instead of, uh, you know, you know, being the spell casted on us. So, uh, yeah, yeah, you know, I, I definitely liked, uh, at least, you know, that, that speech, you know, the whole thing that Nini was saying. But, uh, yeah, uh, continuing on with the chapter, uh, we got... Noelle and Nini getting ready for a, a comeback, and it's like, okay, uh, Cinderella's coming back. Well, let's do this thing. 
And then uh, from the background, freaking Ball goes like, uh, hey, hey, can, 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 can I do anything? And then it's like, hey, how about you just clutch that pipe? That you were given and that tremble and go cry in the corner over there. It's like, oh, but she's at the men's words like that. And she's like, just get back then. Just make sure Ushi doesn't get her in any way. I got it. I got it. I'll just sit here and wait quietly with Ushi. Which, uh, no, I'm actually surprised I didn't get that Ushi plushie. Uh, maybe she got that, but uh, yeah. But then suddenly, uh, I, I guess the small little trumpet that uh, freaking uh, Baga was just carrying suddenly turns into a sword. Wait, wait, wait! wait. Stand by sword. Stand by sword. Yeah, my uh, amazing uh, Ichigo Zun Getsu. Yeah, just take the representation. But yeah. Freaking, his trumpet turns into a, a sword for some reason. And uh, both of them are, just, like, surprised by that. And he's like, so, uh, what's this? And they're like, oh, we should be asking that. But seriously, what the hell's up with that sword? It, it came out of the pipe that we gave you. Is that even logical? But then they turn around to notice that Cinderella mysteriously just stopped moving completely and then like I, I guess a beam of light or some high speed attack or whatever just bam breaks the you know the horn or whatever off the crown breaks the crown off of Cinderella and you know Cinderella falls down and is finally defeated and then we go, I guess, like miles and miles away to a, a Wingbine building where we see who is the one who shot down Cinderella. And it is good old Billy Biggs Jr. himself. I, I totally did not forget his name and had to look it up before I started recording. I, I always forget his name. Uh, yeah, but hey, 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 hey. he needs to put some recognition on him now. He, he literally took out Cinderella, legendary dragon. He's like, uh, good grief. What did I do that? So, uh, yeah, well, that, that ends that there. And then we transition to, I, I guess, the next day where uh, Nini's like, wait, what? We aren't getting any compensation for that? And, uh, you know, Billy's like, oh, it's, it's not nothing. You gotta take a closer look. And she's like, five points and five pounds are as good as nothing. There's no way I can accept this after we slayed a legendary dragon. And he's like, uh, well, to say you're impressed, it's not that you're, in, I'm just impressed you're not even in the negatives considering all the property damage that happened. And plus, it said here, the director of Bang Knife was the one to deliver the finishing blow. And she's like, what? How did they figure that out? He wasn't the one that killed it either. And he's like, either? You and I mean it wasn't you either? And Nini just has, well, this face, uh, Right here, so yeah, and you know, Billy's like, Well, that's all the cookie crumbles. Patrick is right now uh, collecting and preserving Cinderella's corpse. So, uh, come on, I uh, get in here. And then, uh, freaking Macy comes in, and then he's like, Wait a minute, Macy, what, what the hell are you here? Are you not going to tell us we have the server too at our houses too? And he's like, Oh. Oh, you're sharp, aren't you? Yeah, that's right. We determined that she has a light case of dragon clad. Uh, light, light case? Is it? Is it really? Does it, I'm, I'm not sure if it works like that. However, oh, who really cares? But uh, 
Yeah, like you're so dragon clad, so you'll be conserving your home. It sure sounds like a fun recipe for fun. And she's like, I didn't ask for your damn opinion. And then Pacey's like, oh, it seemed like fun, doesn't it, Ninja? And it's like, oh my god, do you actually understand your situation? Just don't agree with the chief. And uh, we, we got Noel. Who, who was like, uh, Chief, um, what, what, what will happen to Balgo? And he's like, oh, yeah, right, right, right. Then it goes to Bruno with where he's, I, I guess, in the, you know, in, in some office or room. And we got uh, Wolf Gang, uh, if you don't remember him from the first chapter. Uh, I think he's like the, you know, the head honcho, the, the leader of uh, Wing Binding. He's like, uh, so, uh, Balgo Parks' Puncto Dragon release form application? I never expected that to, to come from you. Well, if I recall correctly, the investigation determined that uh, Balgo Parks came in contact from Macy around two months ago. If that served the trigger for Cinderella's appearance, that's enough reason for me to keep them alive. If that he is, he is our trump card for eliminating the monarchs. And uh, we just got just a shot Bruno taking, I guess, one, one of the advantage or whatever. But uh, yeah, I, I mean, nah, we're almost at the end of the chapter, so I'll talk about that you know, when, when I, I finish it. But uh, then uh, we, we go to uh, where, you know, uh, freaking uh, Billy was, uh, you know, last night uh, taking out that shot. And uh, we've got Squire just looking around at, uh, you know, the site where uh, Billy, you know, did the shot. And she's like, hmm, yes, then this is definitely it. Junior, you scoundrel. I'm relieved I did not overestimate you. Son of the hero. I mean, yeah, yeah, son of the hero. And, uh, and she just, yeah, oh my god. No, I'm almost at the end of the chapter. I'll do it. And she tells, like, I, I guess I'm a random person, like, hey, get this crack uh, patched up. And they're like, yes, director and squire. And, uh, and then uh, for uh, the final scene of the chapter, we go to uh, Balgo, who's, who's just chilling in front of the tree. He's like, uh, oh yeah, hey, Noel. The chief came and took my pipe and mantle. Well, it doesn't look like I want to be keeping them. Anyway, and then Noel just uh, hugs Balgo. He's like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Uh, Noel, uh, did, did something bad happen? She's like, no. And he's like, so... Uh, did something good happen? He's like, yes. And he's like, well, <laughs> good for you, Noel. And uh, the chapter ends there. And, um, you know, in the, I remember in the original release, they had, uh, you know, this image up with the whole, you know, season two of the manga is coming. And um, actually, you know what, since I, on the literal manga right here, I'll pull what it does for, you know, the freaking, I guess, manga volume release with it. Uh, let me get to the right page, yeah. Right here. Coming in the next volume, winged to, the winged you to burn the witch to. So, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, we're, we're definitely getting some more, you know, Burn the Witch, definitely with, you know, official announcement of Season 2 and stuff. I don't know when we're going to see it, and I, I want to be honest with, uh, I guess Burn the Witch, I mean, if I if I did this review with all my other ones, probably my opinion or what I'll be saying will be kind of just completely different than from now, since we got that Bleach one-shot, which, uh, you know, I was thinking, I was like, okay, that Bleach one-shot basically ends... In a, a, well, I wouldn't say, well, maybe a cliffhanger where, you know, obviously there's 
more Bleach in the, I, I guess, manga format, more to the story that'll be coming out soon. So it makes me wonder, like, well, are we going to get another Bleach manga? And then, you know, for a while I stopped and thought, I was like, well, we, we are getting, we know for a fact we're getting more Burn the Witch, or at least in uh, manga form, we're definitely going to get more Burn the Witch. So maybe, uh, you know, some of the, you know, Hell stuff and, you know, some of the other Bleach characters, some of that stuff might get, you know, picked up. We might see a continuation of it in Burn the Witch, because Burn the Witch does take place in the same universe as Bleach. And, you know, honestly, other than, you know, the whole, um, you know, uh, Soul Society, West Branch thing we saw at the end of the pilot chapter, nothing really screams out that, you know, it, it, it's, you know, the same world as Bleach, but it is, so, you know, it, it, that, that could be something that they definitely do. Um, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to think what else, because the, the, the probably, you know, you know, that's something might be picked up, because I don't really see Kubo in the future doing both Bleach, like, you know, more Bleach and, uh, you know, more Burn the Witch at the same time, and... Yeah, you know, because like I know Kubo towards like the, you know, the end of uh, Bleach's uh, original run, he he wasn't going, he wasn't doing so well. So uh, you, you know, and I, I think personally the this kind of seasonal format probably works a lot better for Kubo and probably a lot more other uh, freaking manga artists because you know manga artists have to work hard. They do it week to week and you know like for someone like Oda they get almost no breaks but she well, yeah, well, Oda gets a couple of breaks but everyone else it's like uh nah we need almost week to week you might miss a chapter or two but uh no we no two week breaks like Oda so you know you know do, doing uh like manga you know is especially tough if you want to be a mangaka so you know I, I think you know, Kubo just doing Burn the Witch. I mean, honestly, I'm I'm fine. With, you know, Kubo every like one or two years doing like a you know like a couple like I don't know four to ten chapters of uh, Burn the Witch, and you know I th these chapters are long. They I think this one's like fifty pages long. This one, so you know, like uh, fifty pages for each chapter. They're full of stuff and. You know content and you know dev definitely excited to see whatever happens with Burn the Witch. Um, I guess I should talk about you know actually content in the chapter itself. So uh, what do I want to talk about first? I, I guess I'll talk about the uh, the whole thing with the Cinderella. I mean Cinderella and the dragon looks pretty cool and the monarchs. I mean obviously as it goes we're getting probably where this series is heading from, you know, what's it stay is, uh, we're probably going to see more of the Monarchs and, you know, that Macy and Noelle are probably going to, you know, help in some way take, uh, them down, which, uh, wait, let me go back up. What were all the Monarchs names? I kind of forgot them. Uh, the, 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 uh, right? Yeah, right there. They're Cinderella, Red Dress, Golden Axe, Bubble, Sugar House, a band of animals. I don't know what fairy tale band of animals is supposed to be, but like, you know, each of the, like, like if you look at Cinderella and its ability, it's like, it looks beautiful and, you know, it sheds under the moonlight. You, you know how uh, Cinderella's dress, uh, you know, her beautiful dress in the, the night ball, uh, you know, and her, her like, uh, the, her, her dresses sparkle like, uh, dust light, filling it with light. So, you know, they, they, they kind of have to take kind of some abstract ideas, but, like, I feel like, you know, all the other monarchs, they're, they're probably going to be, like, they can be interpreted as beautiful. And that beautiful thing will result in absolute destruction. Just absolute, de complete destruction. I mean, you know what would be crazy? If, like, something like Sugar House just, you know, was just a damn, like, a, 
a dragon disguised as a house. Okay, that, that would be freaking crazy. Yeah, and Golden Axe, I, I bet Golden Axe has a Golden Axe, or no, no, no. Its hand is a Golden Axe. I don't know why I'm coming up with this crap, but like, I really can't give you any other theory. I, I, well, I mean, uh, I, I guess I could talk about this because I did say I was in one of my videos going to make a Burn the Witch discussion video after Chapter 4 uh, review and Chapter 4 review is here. So, you know, I, I, I guess I'll probably plan this out sometime soon, hopefully sooner than later. Uh, I, my discussion topic was going to be, you know, about the monarchs and them in the future and, you know, what exact uh, abilities, you know, that each of them might have. Snow White, Red Dress. Uh, I, I have, like, a good handful of clues on, you know, each of them. And plus, I, I guess most of my time will be, uh, let me just read, like, these, some of these original versions of, like, a Snow White and uh, Little Mermaid and stuff. Actually, I haven't read Little Mermaid. I'm actually kind of surprised there's no, like, Beauty and the Beast parallel, you know, a tale of this time. Uh, may, wait, does the Band of Animals mean that? I, I, I guess so? Eh, who, who knows, but yeah, you know, we got these, uh, you know, mythical uh, dragons that we gotta fight in the future. I also got the whole thing with, like, Balgo with the magic sword. What's up with that? I don't know, maybe, because, I don't know, maybe, maybe, maybe he'll do some fighting, or maybe not, who, who knows, I'm, I'm not really sure, I mean, the dragon did stop, uh, you know, the second that, you know, Balgo put out the sword, so, it could be, like, some dragon conductor, I, I don't know, I'm, I'm, I'm just making shit here on the spot, um, I do have to admit, Bruno and his magic, and, you know, obviously, Noel and Nini, uh, they got some, you know, from their attacks and their magic. It looks pretty cool. Definitely excited to see, you know, them fight more into the future. Uh, then we got Billy Banks Jr., the badass, the, uh, you know, the, the, the son of the hero, and, you know, him being a, do an awesome attack. I mean, to be fair, I, I, I kind of expected him to do something like that, kind of, because it's that trope in anime where you got like this, oh my god, look at this guy. He's very unassuming. He's probably not even that strong. And then suddenly it's revealed like, oh yeah, he's just like a, a secret badass uh, uh, hitting crouching tiger move. Yeah, so, you know, I'm, I'm sure, the, you know, whenever we get back to Burn the Witch, you know, a lot of this stuff will be very interesting to find out. Now, like, uh, I, I do have to admit, because, like, when it was originally announced this was only be four chapters, I was like, oh, that, that's kind of disappointing. It's a limited run, only four chapters. That's, well, you know, personally disappointing to me, but with the season format, and obviously with everything we saw in, in like, Burn the Witch, it's... Obviously, this is not going to end here. There, there is more to be found in the future of Burn the Witch with, uh, you know, us with, you know, mate. Not mate. Well, I guess now with Macy, Balgo, uh, Nini, and Noel. After you know, at going after uh, these monarchs to fight and face them, and you know, I don't know what other connection. I mean, I'm actually kind of curious with the. Like, if in some way dragons might have a connection to, or at least the dark dragons or the monarchs might have some kind of connection to, like, hell or, you know, hollows or something. Because, uh, you know, if this has to, if, you know, the stuff that, you know, was dropped in uh, the Bleach uh, one-shot might pick up and burn the witch, you know, you know, we have to definitely... You know, there probably has to be a definitely a bigger connection between, you know, uh, this series and uh, Bleach. So that might happen in the future. Um, I mean, I know some might be like, well, I might keep them separate. I'm fine with either or. I, I like Bleach. And I also like Burn the Witch. I definitely did like this series. I uh, want to see more of it. But even if, 
you know, Kubo decides to burn the witch and also uh, Bleach continuation. Either way, I love Kubo's work. I love his art style. I'm definitely really excited to see it, you know, more of it in the future. Uh, I, I, uh, is there anything else that I want to particularly, like, uh, discuss? I mean, I, I, I guess it's the... Well, Wolfgang's pretty cool. I mean, um, yeah, hopefully we'll get to see more of the, you know, different leaders and uh, Wing Pine, you know, maybe, maybe that. But other than that, I, I got the, you know, real things out of the way. And while I can't give you exacts on what's going to be happening in the future, still definitely excited to see whatever's happening next. So, uh, yeah, that's, that's it. Actually, just curious, do you think we're going to get, like, more burn the witch uh, like the another OVA whenever you know the uh, manga comes out. You think we're gonna get like another you know set of OVA or movie or whatever? I'm you know I, I'm sure about that because I mean burn the witch. It, I know manga wise it was pretty good and you know I I feel like a decent amount of people who you know watched and liked burn the witch. So I I hope there's more. Burn the Witch in the future, maybe. Also, I want the Bleach anime to come out soon. But uh, we're not here to talk about Bleach. Well, we kind of... Oh, never mind. But yeah, great, great Halloween video, man. Burn the Witch chapter review. Caught up with all the chapters. Can do that Burn the Witch discussion video, which... Uh, oh my god, I, I, I was just kind of sweating with, uh, you know, having the cloak. Well, you know, no, I'll, I'll wear the cloak until... You know, like I walk off and leave off the video. So, uh, yeah, you guys, um, you know, excited for Halloween, watching any scary movies. Uh, you know, I, I know what I'll be doing, watching some of the old and, you know, new Monster Madness videos, uh, watching some horror movies. And, um, you know, I, I personally, I love to watch classic Universal monster movies. Uh, like movies from that era. I don't know why, but I, 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 I love that kind of stuff. And, you know, this would be kind of weird from someone who talks about anime. But, you know, that's a, that's what I like, and I'll probably do that. Um, I still need to catch up with Black Clover, because originally my Halloween video was going to be Black Clover, but, uh, you know, I, I, I just forget to catch, I just kind of forgot to read the latest chapters. And it's not because I hate Black Clover right now. I'm just liking where it's going. It's just, I forgot to catch up. I also need to do the same thing with Dr. Stone and the other series that I've been reading. So, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, anything else I gotta say? Um, you know, well, whatever you're doing for Halloween, do your traditions. I, I really want to know what people are doing for Halloween. And, you know, if anyone's got a name, you know, Halloween-themed stuff, um... Yeah, uh, check out the Burn the Witch subreddit. It's not, it's actually surprise, you know, I'm actually kind of surprised. It's actually more active than I thought it was, but to be fair, the manga volume just came out, so maybe it's just that. You know, because I know some subreddits for certain series like this can be, you know, on some days pretty kind of dead for a couple days, so, eh. You know, just surprise me, surprise me. But, uh, yeah, I guess that's really it. So, uh, you know, I guess I'll see you guys next time. Or not next time, but I guess I'll see, I'll see you guys later. And I hope you enjoy your Halloween, your spooky month. Let terror be in the air. And remember, only real witches wear flannel. Oh my god, oh my god. Okay, okay, that that was a lot. That was a pretty cool way to end it. Actually, that surprised me. But, uh, yeah, so how do I want to end this video? I mean, I, I did ask the question on what are you doing during Halloween? Uh, what movies you were watching or whatever? Oh, wait, I know I should ask. Uh, so, is there people still trick or treating around your area? Oh, hey, my camera decided to stop recording for a second. Oh, yeah, but uh, where was I? Oh, yeah, just curious, um, 
you know, wherever you guys uh, live in the world, because I do know someone from France, so I I might be different, but is there anyone, like, churching around where you are? Because, you know, I remember last year, there were, like, just, like, like, maybe a handful of trick-or-treaters where I lived, and, you know, I know in some places, especially other places around the world, trick-or-treating's not very active thing, well, especially with the pandemic. I mean, we're technically still in the pandemic. I mean, depending on where you live, this that that statement might you know be at, scratched or unscratched depending where it is. But you know, I just uh, hopefully there's more people trick or treating. And I mean, you know, because I, I I think trick or treating is a nice, cool thing to to do to celebrate Halloween because. You know, Halloween, as much as people like Halloween, I don't think people put enough, you know, focus onto it as they do on Christmas. So, yeah, love, love Halloween. It's spooky month. How could you not like cost the costume, cosplay, scary movie, horror-themed kind of month? And, you know, personally, I thought, yeah, yeah personally... I like doing these Halloween videos. I mean, even if my last two were just, you know, last minute uh, chapter reviews, I still want to do Halloween videos. And I am serious about wanting to do, like, uh, I don't know if I can do a month-long series, like a series of videos every day of me doing Halloween things. I I doubt I can do that, but, like, you know, maybe I'll do, uh, like, next year, maybe I'll plan myself doing something other than a, uh, you know, just the Halloweenish chapter review, maybe I'll, you know, like uh, maybe d- discuss something that's a little horish theme, or maybe I'll make like a One Piece discussion, like a uh, oh yeah, this is a uh, the this is like the scary scary topics of One Piece. But uh, yeah, just. Now yeah, there's that. Um, just to repeat what I said earlier, uh, you, you think everyone's trick or treating way around you? I mean, I'm just getting candy in case, but still, you know, how do you think people are going to trick or treat? You know, going to keep the whole good old tradition, or at least hopefully people will come. But yeah, you could see me on Halloween night. Well, I'm not not live streaming, but I'll just be what I'll be doing is giving candy to trick or treaters if any come and um. You know, you know what's the, what's the word I'm looking for? Oh yeah, watching uh, the classic Universal monster movies and like horror anime, and um, what what else am I looking for? Uh, oh yeah, and other horror movies. I do like horror movies. I do like slasher movies. So you know, it's the perfect month for the horror. So yeah, see you guys later. Um, I guess I'll end this off with saying that. Uh, you know, I, I am planning to do a video for my birthday uh, fairly soon. Actually, yeah, I think it's next week, literally. So expect that soon enough. Uh, see you guys later.